All right, guys, Isaac Walton with Hunting the River King here, and here's how I made a do-it-yourself smart bird feeder. No subscription needed, just one-time purchase for the parts and using the power of image recognition through a Google Apps script, you can also have smart bird identification. There's a lot of subscription-based services out there. However, I figure, why do I need yet another subscription? Why don't I just have one where I can control it myself and edit it on the fly, and voila, here's the result. So what you'll need is some sort of Wi-Fi uh, solar-powered security camera. I'm using the RealLink Argus Pro outdoor camera. It's awesome. It fits this project just fine, and it's barely affordable. I've seen them on eBay for around 60 bucks. Now you'll also need a macro close-up lens that you can slide in front of your security camera. I'm going to include a link to one in the video description that works great with the Real Link Argus Pro. Uh, it really gets the camera to focus on what's right in front of it, thus avoiding unnecessary background distractions. You will also need some sort of lens holder to keep the lens in front of the security camera. I designed one in Tinkercad, 3D printed it, and I'll include a link to those files as well. Lastly, you'll need some sort of bird feeder. This could be as simple as a stand with a attachment point for your camera, or something more formal like a already pre-built bird feeder, or in my case, I had a bird feeder that was made for a smart camera left over from a prior project. I really didn't like the smart camera setup it had and did not find the app very accurate nor the camera tracking very good, so I repurposed it. You just need some sort of platform where the camera can be mounted to it and you can put bird seed, nothing fancy. Set that all up by strapping the lens to the front of the wireless security camera, get that camera somehow on the bird feeder. In my case, I was able to slide it in with a little bit of a foam insert to angle it and put it where you want it to be outside with bird seed. And within a few days, we already had birds showing up without any prior uh, bird feeder set up. You may need to fine tune it a bit by making sure that the camera angle is just right, uh, tilting it up, tilting it down. Real link camera comes with a bracket that is somewhat adjustable, very helpful. And in the Real Link app itself, you will then need to set it up so that the camera is sending snapshots to a designated email address or series of email addresses. You could probably use many other wireless uh, solar powered security cameras. Just make sure they have a feature that can send snapshots from motion detected uh, findings to an email address automatically. And you could just stop there. Now you have a wireless, solar-powered bird feeder that is automatically taking pictures of birds or any movement and sending it to an email address. And that's the very basic premise behind many of these cameras. However, if you want to take it a step further, here we go. You will need to set up a Google Apps script account with Gmail and Google Drive all enabled. Ideally, the email address that you're getting these emails to is a Gmail address. It will be simpler that way. From there, you can set up the Google Apps script to pull emails with a specific label into your Google Drive, then periodically scan a folder in Google Drive, send images from that to an AI smart identification service, such as the Microsoft ResNet tool that is available through Hugging Face Spaces, and then send the results along with the image back to you in the form of an email. And that's what the script I've developed using a generous helping of AI assistance will do. I wanted it to be free and I wanted it also to filter out low quality images and not to overwhelm my inbox. So the script is set up to not send me images of things that aren't birds and to only send higher quality images periodically throughout the day in a batch email along with the most likely identification. And so far, it's been really good. Finally, the script takes the images that were saved in Google Drive and deletes them out of another folder, a processed folder. Now, if you're comfortable using an AI tool such as Copilot or ChatGPT, you can take this script and have it be tweaked to your own uh, needs. 
I've also set up another version where the script will actually log the bird settings, not just in the emails, but also in a Google uh, spreadsheet. And it gives me a summary a running tally of what different birds were seen and when with which ones are more frequent. And just to take a step back, again, with the software that you'll need, I don't really have much programming experience, um, but using AI and a overall familiarity with some scripting and using the Google Gmail environment, I was able to connect this entire loop and make it automatically take bird photos, screen out low quality ones, send me the results back, and delete the old unused photos. I'll include links in the video description to a bit more on this flow and how it is so far totally free. Um, and I hope you found this very helpful. If you have questions, please reach out. Um, I certainly did not want yet another subscription service for something that could be set up pretty simply on your own. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Happy backyard bird spotting.